if I have the titles, if I have the, the, the if I hit the goals, but I have no relationships built, I have no trust, then, you know, I don't want clients to come back to me. Oh yeah, Gary's good. That's why we're back to him. But does he love us? Mm, I don't know. He's just good. Like I, I don't, I don't want that. I want this, the, the people to be like, you know, Gary's not perfect, but man, he, he tries to love us. He tries to like, he makes mistakes. He drops the ball once in a while, but not major things. But you know, this guy loves us. Right. And I was like, I want, I want that. I want that testimony. So I was like writing all this stuff down. And so when I was following the other realtor on his Instagram, he was like having this client appreciation event and like hundreds of people showing up and, and like, it's really fancy. And I was just like, what do I want my client appreciation to be about? What do I want them to be talking about? I don't want them to share like, oh yeah, Gary helped me buy this new home or Gary helped me sell my home. But I want more like Gary's team helped us build wealth over time. He changed our life over time because, you know, we listened to him and he guided us. This year has really been this, like last year was my most um, financial best year in my business, but it was the worst year um, personally. It was just the most challenging year with family and marriage issues and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, that's why I, I really made a decision this year. Like, you know, it's not like everyone knows, says it, says it, right? Oh, family first, whatever. Everybody says that, but they don't, you know, like action speaks louder than words, right? So I was like, you know what? If I just get the core basics, the foundations right, you know, I don't need to worry about the, the business. The business will take care of itself. If I can just love God, and then if I love God well, then I will love God my family well. And if I love my family well, then I will learn to love my team well. If I love my team well, then my clients will be taken care of, you know? And it's, sometimes we get, like I get the, the orders mixed up. And that's when things go wrong. When I, when I put my clients above my family, or if I put um, like my business above God or something like that, it just, Things don't work out. And so this year I'm like, instead of thinking numbers based, okay, how do I draft a business plan? What st marketing strategy should I do? What sales strategy? What follow-up strategy should I do? I'm like, be open, listen to God, serve Him, and draw a deeper relationship. You know, like I was talking to uh, one of, a colleague of mine, and she was uh, like, I'm, I'm sharing with her about God and stuff like that, and she was like, talking about like, like she has ha some family issues and she was saying like, oh, if I don't, uh, if I don't um, book my airplane tickets at this time, then I'm gonna pay an extra $500 and all this stuff. And then like, she's missing the point of it's, who cares about the extra $500? It's about the family issue. If you can have the right place and the right communication, like that extra $500 is like nothing. And I told her, do you think it's just your good looks and skills that are getting you all the deals. You know, she's a colleague, another realtor, right? and and I'm like, yeah, sure, like, yeah, you have, uh, you you've got some skill in real estate, but who do you think gave you those skills? You know, and I'm trying to share with her, it's it's God, right? And and it was when I was saying that, I was like, same thing to me. It was like, it was as if God was saying the same thing to me, like. Gary, yeah, you have like Dan, Dan Locke and sharing you all these strategies and, that, and you execute a bunch of stuff, but you think really it's about them? Like who do you think brought that Dan into your life? Who do you think gave you the strength and mindset to execute on those strategies? Like who do you think brought you their clients when like they just came out of nowhere, right? And I'm like, you know, it's a good reminder. It's a good reminder that really every good and perfect gift comes from God. It just, um, it's like, I, I, I think I'm going on a tangent, but it's kind of like, it's related. It's, it just wants to, I'm, I'm trying to like process this about going back to God and, and just putting God number one. Like not just talk, because everybody says that, but really, you know, when people win the Oscars, oh yeah, I, want, I just want to thank God and yeah, I'm in heaven. Like everybody says it, but 
I, I don't want to just talk. I really want to believe it and, and center my thoughts and everything around that, right? And really, if I, if I focus on love, but I think I can't go wrong. I really don't think I can go wrong. So that's, that's why I changed, uh, not changed, but I re reignited my mission and, and vision in my, in my business, especially one of my, um, one of my team members is a Christian now and then the other is not, right? But I'm not trying to evangelize him, but I want him to see this is what Christians do and this is how they care about their clients.